And I think the biggest piece of stress, you heard someone say 30 seconds, because when that green light comes on, you only have 30 seconds to touch the apparatus and start your routine, or else you could get a zero. So we start with the U.S. all-around champ, Brody Malone. His only major fall came on this element, and it was perfect. Oh, and that was great. Really hard to keep moving that well. Boy, he has got a, a lot of juice. I can see it. Everything looks a little bit more floaty. Yeah, he is amped up. Little bit of a step of a hand, only be a tenth of a point. Double pike. Oh. <laughs> One down, five to go, and he's on his way. And when he's, amped, when he's amped up, you can't tell by the look on his face <laughs> at all. No. Just the performance. Absolutely, but I could see he had a little extra energy on everything. All right, so as you said, one down for him. Five more to go here on day two. All right, Brody Maloney in first continues to be in that top spot and now through seven rotations. I thought it was great. After the U.S. Championships, he said, I just need to focus. He deleted his Instagram. They're not going to think about anything except for being in the moment and doing gymnastics. This is a world-class routine and can win a medal at the Olympics. Oh, boy. Wow, that was fun. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Great combinations. Another big release. So it's often when the pressure is high, the athletes like to play it a little bit safe, and he is not doing that every release. And right to the handstand. Wow. This routine in Tokyo puts him on the podium, in my estimation. Wow. Absolutely. Right to the very end of the arm. That was as perfect as any routine I have ever seen. Pretty big statement. He'll, he'll face up against a legend, an icon, what they call the greatest ever, Kohei Uchimura, on this event in Tokyo. And I'll tell you what, that was spectacular. <laughs> and stoic, again, as different from Yul Moldauer's reactions as you can get. You know, every single athlete just focuses and, and competes in such a different way. Look at that so far away, little bit of a leg separation just when he caught the bar. Does another one, and this one is fingertips as well. This one a little bit farther even, but. Family oh, members oh hanging on God. every <laughs> little moment and then tears at the end. What must that be like? As much pressure as you feel as an athlete out there to be, you got a kid out there competing, a grandson, you've got a nephew, a brother. You know, I think that probably is even more nerve wracking, not being able to understand how the athlete's feeling, not having control. Yep. <laughs> that's, a, that's a gigantic number, but I got to say that 8.3 execution score. I, it, I don't know where they got 1.7 off in that routine. That I'm with you. I'd, I'd love uh. to know that. <laughs> over to the man who's taken over that top spot in the U.S. and here at the Olympic team trials, Brody Malone. We're really, I mean, gymnastics fans know him, but we're really just starting to get to know this 21-year-old from Georgia. He has been outstanding. Newish pass for Brody. Great landing. When we talk about the amount of pressure that all of these athletes face, 
every time really they go out onto the competition floor, but especially a competition like the Olympic trials coming into his first one as not only a first time competitor of the Olympic trials, but the reigning national champion a few years ago. I don't think he would have even thought he would be in this position right now. Well, I saw him three years ago and I'll tell you what, I, I didn't really know about him and I called a dual meet between Cal and Stanford, and I was blown away by him. He, he was very young, but you could see it way back then that this guy has not just some things, but a lot of things that are special. It was a very strong routine, but definitely could be better in the landing department. Man from Georgia, family moved to Tennessee. He's out in Palo Alto, rising senior at Stanford, studying management science, yeah. engineering. After the national championships, he said that his goal was to push for the Olympics, and, and after that competition, he thought everything went pretty well. I would say so, Brody. Pretty, <laughs> pretty well, yeah. Steven Arazic, who is pommel horse guy trying to get to the Olympics there. Yeah, it, it's been interesting to watch him, too. It's it's so different than some of the other guys. Yul Moldauer, who's so fiery and the emotion after each event. Brody Malone just kind of takes it all in. You've been watching, you know, he grew up competing with his brother in rodeo. He's got a lot of attention for that. Sometimes he's embarrassed to talk yeah. about it. He's like, oh, come First on. First time we brought it up, he was, he was definitely a little embarrassed, but also can relate it back to gymnastics you know which was really cool that he was able to take those experiences and now use all of that right here on this floor the leader overall the u.s all-around champ no doubt going to be in tokyo brody malone and if there's a place where brody struggles just a little bit it's here that body type that he has makes pommel horse extremely challenging Hard to get his arms in back of his body and get a lot of clearance over the pommels. Here's that first test right here. Good quick hands. But this is a brilliantly choreographed routine to showcase the things that Brody is good at and to lessen the things that he's not. Oh my goodness, wow. So Team USA's two weakest events, Pommel Horse and High Bar, Brody Malone has been stellar. I was gonna ask, what's he weak at? You're talking about his weaknesses. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> this is his weakest event, but actually much better than he did night one. But yeah. this man's making it easy for them, Brody Malone on rings. Yeah, and you, out of that four, it's so critical that the, the USA has three very usable scores. Brody's usable everywhere. Great start, beautiful position. Everything is about strength on rings, and this is great. Got to hold it for two seconds, which he has done on all of them. Just so composed. A young athlete. Has a, a great future for Tokyo and beyond. <laughs> Unbelievable. And has done it again. Unfazed, unflappable. 21 years of age, just really getting things started. Brody, dude, you're an animal, bro. Animal. <laughs> so close to his dreams coming true of becoming an Olympian. Kerpow, baby. Cooper and Tyler are his brothers, Briley his sister, family watching and in approval.